Hello everyone, welcome back to Planet Coaster and welcome back to the Wicker Man recreation. In today's episode it's going to be the sand tunnels and also track cables and more track supports but I did those off camera but I've actually got someone else uh, with me in this episode so you don't have to listen to my boring and monotone voice. I've actually got Alex back who you might remember from the Belton Park episode. Hello, I'm back yeah. again. And we're going to talk theme parks for so the next, how long is this? Six minutes. That's a six minute long time lapse, that's one of my shortest time lapse. So, Alton Towers Dungeons. Is it necessary? What, the dungeons? We'll talk yeah. about the dungeon. No, the dungeons. <laughs> are, they, are they necessary? I'm only happy because something's actually going in that building. Yeah. Well, um... Obviously, they could have just done a new dark ride, but obviously, with their new, you know, attraction to more horror-themed attractions, this is probably a better step for them to go through. Yeah, and also, I'm I glad they actually made an effort to make it its own area. I feel like they've probably made it part of Fountain Square. Don't know if you've seen the pictures. Um, I'm I'm what I'm literally what's the word? I'm I'm. I'm Holding it to be a surprise for when I go in May. Oh, so, right. yeah. Can I, can I, I don't tell want you what any they spoilers. To the area. Oh, uh, go on. I just don't want to see anything, yeah. so I want to be surprised when I go there. They, they basically pushed um, the Cloud Cuckoo Land area back to where uh, uh, the House of Monsters maze normally is. You know what that is? Uh, I think I do. It's like by the driving school, isn't it? No, it's like right at the theatre when you turn around a corner and see the theatre. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes, they pushed back the Cloud Cookie Land entrance there. And now, and they repainted Burger Kitchen to make it look like um, old and creepy. Oh, I love that restaurant. It's like really good. And it's really good value for money as well. Yeah, I don't think they have confirmed it, but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say that um, the dungeons are part of Fountain Square. Because, you know, it's in the same area as Hex, so it would fit yeah. quite well. Mind you, well, they say Hex is part of the, uh, the Towers area, not Fountain Square. Well, um, I'll tell you what I think at the moment. I think that uh, with Cloud Cuckoo Land being squished, half the ride's not working as well. Um, I think that it's going to be closed by, I'm going to say, 2022. They're just going to get rid of it and replace it with something new. Yeah. One thing I'm actually quite surprised is that they didn't remove Frog Hopper. Yeah, because... Still there. Um, yeah. Well, uh, if you... No, uh, I know this from watching Sean's merchandise video. Oh, God, um, Sean Sandbrook. Yeah. Um, well, basically, it used to be in the Orton Towers Hotel. as a little attraction in there, I believe. And, um, yeah... And so I don't think they want to move it again because, you know, it could be a bit more effort than they probably want to put in. No, I'm, I'm just saying that CBeebies Land is getting the exact yeah. same ride system. Two yeah, of and them. they're getting two of them, yeah. So, um... Yeah, so why is Frog Hopper still there? Uh, as I, as I literally just said, um, it's probably just more cost than they're willing to use. If that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, but I'm, I just, yeah, Kakuk Land hasn't got a lot of time left because it was originally supposed to be for little kids, wasn't it? But now CBeebies yeah. Land is for the little kids. So why venture all the way to the end of the park for Kakuk Land when CBeebies Land is literally at the entrance of the park? Yeah, that. by the way, that is a really smart move on Norton's part because um, it, in, by putting it right at the front of the park, it's preventing... Uh, loads of traffic from little kids going through the rest of the park off topic a bit but you know yeah. just want to praise them for that decision yeah before we run out of time on a time lapse though let's talk about fort park this year yes uh, uh i don't think anything's gonna happen but i'm really excited yeah. to go i mean the um, events they're doing this year i mean a fortnight yeah. tournament come on fort you're better than this. With the other ones, though, I'm kind of neutral with it. It's just, I mean, I'm not thrilled yeah. by it, but I'm not disappointed by it. I'm just like, yeah, okay. I see what you're the, doing um, for. 
The uh, movie night thing looks quite good. I would go and see it, but um, it's just a couple of days after my birthday, and I'm going to open um, a couple of days after that. I'm just so. surprised that they're charging twenty pound for that. You got park quid. admission, Actually, and then a further f thirty quid. Oh God, that's even worse. Park admission and a further thirty quid just to watch a movie by well, stealth. Well, it's not. It's not that bad uh, for people who have annual passes like me. Uh, mm. But like. But for other people, it could be like a real major. I'm just saying things. though, like if the on towns, the on towns dungeons are only going to be five pound, you know I can live yeah. with that. Five pound isn't that lot, you know, especially for a dungeons attraction. But twenty pound, thirty pounds. Well, so. um, I think the time lapse is coming to an end at the moment. If you have a look at the timeline. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Right. So, um, yeah, that's yeah. pretty much the end of our discussion. Yes, so, let's, um, yeah. let's just get into the real-time footage. I'm right then, I um, hope you all enjoyed that time-lapse of the uh, the sound tunnel up there. Um, for obvious reasons, I did not do the time-lapse for the cables. I'm pretty sure Alex wouldn't mind doing the cables. <laughs> yeah. Six hours of hard labour. Um, but yeah, let's move over here to the sound tunnel um, as you probably saw in the time lapse it's just the basic castle windows with some planks of wood and the um, flags and the banners well they're not actually flags these are the um, the pumpkin banners that we got in the spooky DLC uh, that's pretty much shit uh, that I did off guard um, apart from these wooden supports sorry um, yeah, these wooden supports, I also did those, and then I do want to move round to here, and then do the wooden supports here as well. And then once all the supports are done for the entire thing, it'll be time to move over to this station area. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching today's video. Thank you, Alex, for joining me. Yeah, awesome. And um, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.